You ever heard about the aliens that contacted us in 1981 trying to tell us how to stop reincarnating as humans over and over and over again? <laughs> You're full of <laughs> That's what I thought too, until I heard the full story. In 1981, Carla Rucker, who was a girl from Kentucky, began receiving telepathic contact from a group of entities calling themselves Ra. According to Rucker, these were the collect- okay, hold, stick with me- the collective consciousness from a higher dimension of the planet Venus, they evolved 2.6 billion years ago into a higher dimension and they've came back to give us information and to tell us how to stop reincarnating and much more. Then over the next couple years, they kept this contact going and there was three of them. There was Carla herself, there was Don, then there was also Jim, who Jim wrote down everything. Don was the one asking questions. It was kind of written in a Q&A format and they, because they were asking questions to this entity, but the entity was actually talking through Carla. And all of these conversations they actually put into a book, a book series, there's actually I think four or five books, and it's called The Law of One. So what you're saying is she got possessed. I wouldn't say she was possessed because she had a Bible at her head in order to make contact with them. And also this is all documented extensively, like they had microphones on the whole time. You can actually go listen to the original audios from 1981. Okay. So how do we stop reincarnating over and over then? Well, real quick, I think it's important to understand what the main message of Ra actually is. Here's a quote from session four. The law of one, though beyond the limitations of name, as you call vibratory sound complexes, may be approximated by stating that all things are one, that there is no polarity, there is no wrong, no right, no disharmony, but only identity. All is one, and that one is love light, or light slash love, the infinite creator. So it's about everything being God. Kind of, but it's not a religious book at all. In the book it actually says that it doesn't matter if you know about the book The Law of One, and if you don't even know about what The Law of One actually is. That's fine. The only thing you need to do to move on is you need to love and be in service to others. Like get to heaven? Not in the traditional sense at all. In the Law of One philosophy, there are seven major densities in our universe. Think of them as different thresholds that have been separated off, but they're just different vibrational pockets in which different bodies can exist. Another way to think about it is, think about the ocean. When you go down in the ocean, you need to have a specific body in order to go far enough down. And so what the Law of One is saying, what Ra is saying, is that you need to have different bodies for each density. And again, there's seven of them. Seven major ones, that is. So then reincarnation is kind of like just playing the game of different bodies with different experiences. So how does loving others get you to a higher density? Well, according to what they're telling us, it's actually just math. If you're more than 50% in service to others, then you'll move on in the positive polarization from this third density to fourth density. But there's also the option to move on negatively, which means you're 90, according to the law of one, 95% or more in service to yourself. So there really is negative entity.